In this video, we'll be exploring the relationship between the pattern overlay and color overlay layer style effects. Open the Kitchen 2 PSD file. Target the Walls layer and then create a new layer above it by clicking this icon. Double click the new layer's name and call it Counters. Incidentally, we can throw this Shape 1 layer away as it's no longer needed. Go to the Paint Bucket tool and fill in black in the counter areas by clicking one, two, three times. Then double click just to the right of the word Counters. This is a shortcut that opens up the Layer Style dialog box. It opens it up here at this Blending Options page. We can apply any of the effects though. I'm going to click right on Pattern Overlay. I'll open the Pattern Picker here, and I will choose a different library by clicking this gear. I'll try Texture Fill, and then it prompts us if we want to replace the current patterns with the patterns from Texture Fill. We say OK. If you hold the cursor still over these patterns, you'll get a tooltip, which gives you the name. Click on Concrete right here, and then close the Pattern Picker. You can change the scale of that pattern by dragging the slider. You'll find that the image appears much more clear when it's at 100%, 200%, or 400%. Let's try 200%. You see the clarity? And if I change this to 199, look at how much more blurry it appears. Go back to 200, try 201, it's blurry again. So you're going to get the best results at these scales, which are increments of 100%. It also works well at 25% and 50%. When this dialog box is open, you can drag the pattern on the screen. In this particular case, it doesn't much matter because this pattern is organic. However, if you had, say, a cross-hatching pattern, you might want to line up the cross-hatching with some of the geometry, and this can be helpful. It's also useful with tiling patterns. You can line up the ceramic tile in this way. I want this countertop to be like a granite, but I want it to have a color. So I'm going to use Color Overlay, and I'll choose a color up here. Now if I do that, it appears that the Color Overlay completely obscures the Pattern Overlay. And that's happening because these effects form a kind of stack. And this color overlay is higher up than pattern overlay, so it's obscuring what's below it here. In order to blend these two effects together, it's necessary either to change the blend mode or the opacity of this effect. If I decrease the opacity here, you can see that it starts to blend with the pattern overlay underneath. Alternatively, I can change the blend mode. You can try Multiply makes it darker. Screen makes it lighter. Overlay works pretty well, although it's a bit too intense. Soft light is interesting. I think I'll go with soft light. I'll click on the color swatch now, now that we're seeing the blend between the pattern and the color, and then I can make some other decisions. Perhaps if I change the hue, we can try some other type of exotic granite, for example. I'll try this greenish color. So this is one way that we could mix the color overlay with the pattern, with a grayscale pattern. But there are also situations where you might have a color pattern and you'd like to change its hue. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to temporarily toggle off color overlay and go back to pattern overlay. Let's select a different pattern. Open the picker and let's go ahead and Choose Color Paper, and then OK. I'll try different patterns here, and what I should be looking for is a texture that I like. We can always change the color. This is a rather interesting texture. I'll go with this one. This is called Blue Specs. Now I'll go back to Color Overlay, and if I use this green color, it's going to be dynamically mixing it with the lavender color of the pattern. To get a cleaner mix, I'm going to strip away all of the color from this pattern 
and that's easily done simply by changing the blend mode of the pattern to luminosity. So we're just getting the grayscale information or the luminosity of this particular pattern. And then we're mixing in whatever color we want here with the color overlay effect. I'll open this color swatch and I'll try a different color. So this system allows us great flexibility because we can very easily make decisions about texture and about color and we can have independent control over each. And furthermore, we have this ability to go back in the future and make changes to these material choices simply by changing the layer effect which is listed here. So in this video, you've learned how to manage the relationship between pattern and color through layer style effects.